Pressure from Palo Alto. We're underway. Must win set for the Huskies or it's an upset night here in Seattle. Untouched point to the Huskies. Here's our numbers to the first three sets. Well, Nebraska hitting 308, Washington 265, and then the blocks category. Wow. Ten and a half blocks to Nebraska's three. That's been a huge advantage or the only real bright spot for Washington in terms of controlling any of the categories. Rolfson with a kill from that left side. We're tied at one. BYU upsetting Florida State tonight in four sets. Nebraska trying to continue that trend. And another service error. for this Washington team to really slow down this Nebraska offense who's been hot lately. Give Bailey Tanner the assist. Strong serve, puts the pressure on, overpass, easy kill for Leanna Sebeldin. And that's exactly what Sebeldin did. She turned around and pointed at Tanner. Telling her, thank you. Four to one, Washington. Side out Nebraska as Hall crushes it. Cecilia Hall, they call her Cece. She has been unstoppable. 11 kills off 13 swings for Nebraska. Second Swedish player to play for Nebraska. How's the volleyball in Sweden? Indoor is pretty good, but they have <laughs> no, a good I would beach team as well. Beach, really? They do. Are they train in Australia? Yes, they train in other countries. <laughs> Again, hardcore. Katie Rolfson, 11 kills. Juan takes back to serve for the Huskers. Drops in front of the defender. Nebraska player there just can't control it. Vincent with 11 kills, only one error. 12 digs as well. So she's got a double double. And no one there to receive Van Sant's pass. Frustrating when Krista Van Sant makes a great defensive move. This ball's high. She turns, lifts it, and then Bailey Tanner hesitates as the setter. So does Chrissy Jones. Ball drops. Jones had fallen down, stumbled. Another service here for the Huskers. Sydney Townsend sends that out of bounds. A free point to Washington. As we see Van Sant's numbers, there's that double double. But a quiet double double. Yeah, We're it not is. saying her name like we can. One hitting air. Get her the ball more. Strickland with a big serve. coming on strong lately for Washington on Washington also on the left side. That's her sixth kill. Wow. Credit Perry, uh, Mary Paul Miller for the winning that joust. I don't know if it was a joust or a block. It happened quick. I thought Washington had the easy point, but looked like a block.
entertaining rallies going on here. Point to the Huskers. Krista Van Sant out of the backcourt. Nebraska keeps it alive. And then Fiend, Kelsey B number 14, ends that rally for Nebraska. Jones gets the side out for the Huskies. That's number six for Jones. Washington looks a little bit more in rhythm than they have been. I know the offensive numbers were better in that third set. Right now, Washington is a team hitting 400, Nebraska 286. Washington up by two. Scambray gets into the Husker block. Haggerty right there in the middle. Megan Haggerty, 6'2". Megan Haggerty leads this team in blocks, number 20. Comes up with a big one for Nebraska. Washington picks up the point, Scambray back to serve. It gives the Huskers, excuse me, the Huskies a two-point lead. It's tough going between Huskies and Huskers. I agree. <laughs> Was it touched? No. Point to Washington. I did not see a touch. Trying to go high hands, just misses. Paul Miller, nine kills. She's getting it done, those tight passes. She's good at the joust, good at blocking that overpass as well. Paul Miller back to serve. keeps it in play. Point to Nebraska. Cecilia Hall, 12 kills. Actually, that was her 13th kill. Washington has no answer for her tonight. Three players with ten or more kills, and an excellent serve. That's going to go down as an ace for Paul Miller. Senior setter Mary Paul Miller having quite a match. Pressure from the service line. That's one of the keys for Nebraska, taking Washington out of that fast offense where they're so dangerous. Nebraska has won the last four points. Service error by Paul Miller. She tried to go right down the line, and the Huskies watched it go out. Wade back to serve. Had a double contact on Washington. That's going to be a point for Nebraska. Good dig by Tia Scambray. Kaylee Nelson just doubled trying to set that ball. Nebraska. 
Good defense. Long Arantes has come up with a lot of crucial digs tonight. Rolfson overpowers the Huskies. Justine Wong Arantes, not only is she coming up with big digs, but she's controlling it in a location where Mary Paul Miller can run a fast offense out to the pin, and Katie Rolfson knows what to do with them. Albrecht back to serve. She struggled with her serving. A couple of service errors gets that one in. Scambre, excuse me, Van Sant with the kill for the Huskies. Number 12 for Krista Van Sant. She's still in the front row. Let's see if Washington tries to use her more while she's still in the front. Well, point to Nebraska. That serve just drifts out. See the replay. Tough cross court. Oh, Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. Wow. And the replay shown on the jumbotron here in the stadium. And Tanner got robbed. You got to say it. Well, the officials are human, too. They made a mistake on that one. the ultimate way to get revenge. Sabeldon takes matters into her own hands. Anna Sabeldon with kill number seven. Right out of the middle, blocker goes the other way. Good set by Bailey Tanner. And Sant with the serve. And a good block by Haggerty for Nebraska. Again, Megan Haggerty, so good with her hands over the net. The best blocker on this Nebraska team. Watch her hands as push it right back down into the court. That was a good look at that push. Townsend in to serve for the Huskers. Strickland with the receive. Jones. That's alive. talked about that earlier in the match, getting the Anna Sabeldon going. She plays hard, she plays high, and is really one of the keys for Washington. Cambray trying to create something. Paul Miller with the set. Feeling the block is Rolfson, point Huskers. Katie, Katie Rolfson. Katie Rolfson, that's 13. So good at using this Washington block. That's all about discipline, and Washington is usually a very disciplined blocking team. Katie Rolfson rotates back to serve. All Big Ten selection this year. That serve just drifts long. Is that a head scratcher, Holly, or are you okay with that service area? Well, inches long. I mean, Nebraska, I feel like they're playing very confident volleyball. They want to continue to put the pressure on from the service line. Service error repaid by Finol. That's a head scratcher because that's not even getting close. That's middle of the net and Washington's down. 18-15, Nebraska leads. Alexa Etheridge inserted into serve. She's a sophomore from Lee Summit, Missouri. Comes in to serve. She's played just about every match this year. All over with the set. And too much power in the swing of Kaylee Nelson. That's number nine, Kaylee Nelson comes up with a timely kill on the left side. She's got a nice quick arm for Nelson. Washington. Nelson was an unheralded recruit, barely saw time as a freshman, then became a starter as a sophomore, was an All-American as a junior. Great story about hard work. Too much power delivered by Fiend. Making a living using the blocker tonight.
Washington has not lost at home this season, 17-0. And, and they are flirting with that first loss and it would end their season. this one in. Wow, you talked about drama. Hmm. 
It's in Seattle. <laughs> That's for sure. You know, Washington, everybody talks about so good at home. They haven't lost here in so long. But this Nebraska team, unfazed. They're playing fearless like they have nothing to lose and playing some great defense. Taking big swings offensively. I have been really impressed. Yeah, I have too. Uh, we showed you the other two regionals earlier in Minneapolis and here. Now a couple of other regionals have our finals decided as well that will be playing tomorrow. Stanford will meet Florida. Mary Wise's Gator survived a five-setter against the Fighting Illini. That's tomorrow at 9 Eastern on ESPNU. That'll be the regional that leads into our regional here. But preceding that one in Louisville, it is Wisconsin and Penn State at 4 Eastern on ESPNU. So really, this is the only regional where we're seeing some pretty major upsets. Yeah, that's, wow. Uh, Wisconsin-Penn State, that can be a national semifinal for sure. And then Florida-Stanford, that's going to be very exciting with the size in the middle with Ramat Al-Hassan, the freshman from Florida, battling Inkia Jonaku and Moretta Lutz in the middle at Stanford. That will be a battle. I'll be watching that one. And Texas and North Carolina and Minneapolis, looking forward to that as well. Here, BYU is waiting the winner of this. And Nebraska's two points away. Right at Van Sant, Scambray tracks it down. Strickland keeps it alive, here's Scambray. Longarantes with the dig. Katie Rolfson. responded every time Washington's made a run like this. No touch. And we are tied at 23. Amber Rolfson had been so good off the block all day. Misses there. Match point or set point at the conclusion of this one. She'll rotate back to serve and try to pull off the upset. Nebraska, its third match point. 
Megan Haggerty, kill number six out of the middle. points of coming on for the Huskers. They will have a fifth shot at it. Match point number five for Nebraska. Huge block by nine in the 